In this video, we're going to be talking about the nervous system. So there are two parts in the nervous system, that being the central nervous system, CNS, and the peripheral nervous system, PNS. So the central nervous system includes the brain and the spinal cord. The brain and spinal cord act as the main command center of the of the entire nerves they receive and send signals in order to complete or do an action now the peripheral nervous system is every other nerve but the spine and the brain basically they're located all over our body we can see them here like these part these nerves over here these neurons they're, they're located everywhere their job is to be able to detect the surrounding environment and move appropriately to be able to survive in it. So in the peripheral nervous system, it can be split into two different branches, that being the sensory division and the motor division. The sensory di division detects the surrounding area in the environment and sends the signals back up into the brain. The signals then are transmitted from the brain to the other nerves in the body and allow the body to be able to adapt to the environment. This is known as the motor division. Now, in the motor division, it split into two different parts, that being the somatic uh, nervous system and the autonomic ner nervous system. So the autonomic, also, uh, which sounds like automatic, it practically um, means that uh, it's taking control over all of the involuntary muscles. Involuntary means that um, we're doing it without, like, the brain is sending the signals to those parts without us knowing it. For example, all of the smooth muscles in our body are involuntary. If you look at these organs over here, the heart, liver, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, the brain itself, and the kidneys are all involuntary muscles. The brain is sending signals to these parts to be able to do certain things without us having to always tell these organs to do it every single time. An example would be the heart. We don't have to tell the heart to keep pumping blood, keep like beating and, and keep doing all that. Instead, the brain already sends the signal without us knowing it. Same can be said for any other uh, organ. Now, um, the somatic one includes, it takes the signals from the brain and to the voluntary uh, m muscles. Those muscles being our heads, arms, face, legs, feet, whatnot. This way, we have control over what we do and make sure, and we have control over how to move and all of that stuff. Now, the autonomic uh, nervous system can be split into two other types of uh, nervous systems, that being the sympathetic and parasympathetic. Also, we have no control over these kinds of nervous systems. So, the, the sympathetic acts like a ref, like it's like reflexes. So um, when something is coming at you, either you run away like, or you fight back. It makes the decision for us depending on how dangerous the situation is. For example, if there was a bear right there, you would probably run away as fast as possible. But if there's a mosquito bothering you, you'd probably swipe it away pretty fast instead of running away. Here, it's known as the fight or flight situation. The sympathetic nervous system takes care of that. Now the parasympathetic is kind of opposite. It re it's known as the rest and digest. Basically, um, in, s in the sympathetic one, our heart rates and our organs, they move much more faster than normally. But in the parasympathetic, where we're resting, uh, the um, organs move much more less faster and um, they slow down compared to normal and move to the normal speed. An example would be the heart rate. If you look at the heart rate in a sympathetic uh, situation, what happens is that our heart rate beats more and more faster. But if we're resting down and sitting or laying down or sleeping, our heart rate would go in a, at a normal uh, or constant speed. The model. So these are the parts of the um, these are the parts of the brain. Spoiler alert: We're going to be having another video on that. And this uh, this long tube over here is the spinal cord. Keep in mind that this is the central nervous system, not the peripheral. However, these neurons over here would act as the peripheral nervous system, considering that they're not the brain nor the spinal cord. Basically, you could think of it as a really long game of telephone. 
So the brain gives a signal, which gives it to the, the, the spinal cord, and these give it to the neurons. These neurons send it to all parts of the body to make sure that the signal re receives and goes correctly without any interruptions or any faulty problems.